Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing several things. I'm going to take you through my end day review with my passion planner and my bullet journal. And then at the same time, I'll be prepping for February. So there's going to be a little reset and plan with me going on. It's about 9pm right now and I'm just going through some of the tasks I've completed, checking them off. Whatever that's remaining will be taken care of after the filming or to be done the next day. A little bit of side story. Here I wrote that I had cleaned my mouth guard. I have this dentist too that I use to remove any buildup. Mind you, my mouth guard was actually reaching the end of its life. I've had it for quite some time and there were two fractures. So I'm kind of surprised it lasted this long. It was one wrong movement that broke it and that was that. In this planner, there is this self check-in page to review your month. I like this feature as it allows you to think back or what I did was look back at the previous daily pages to gauge how things went. Overall, I gave the month a 7 as I had worked pretty well on the goals I had set myself. The next part was about memorable moments. There were a lot of moments during the month and I didn't quite have a lot of space to write full sentences so I decided to just list them out using keywords. There were a few key moments that I want to share. One was attending my daughter's music performance. She was singing bad to the bone. She had a little bit of stage fright, but she sang through it to the end. Another moment was that I had won a $20 gift card from a local bookstore. I used that money in the end to buy myself Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Next section is about achievements I'm proud of. I listed a few things which were stuff concerning my YouTube channel and Instagram account and then how I was more mindful of the way I parent. There were a few hiccups but I was conscious about it and tried to fix my approach. The other was how I had more control over my negative self-talk and just took action. Something along the lines of scared but doing it anyway. As a reward, I wrote that I wanted to watch the latest Avatar movie. I'm holding myself back because I want to wait until it's streaming, but if I can't wait, I'll just watch it in the cinema. Now the next page is the start of February, where I'm supposed to list down my game changer goal here. I find that it's not really working for me because I have several goals that I want to work on at the same time. So for now, I'm going to move on to my bullet journal. So usually when I'm done reviewing the day in my passion planner, I go through the pages in my bullet journal and fill in the daily entries. But right now, I'm going to do that review and at the same time prep for February since I'm going through the same pages from the start. So in my future log, I'm only going to update February. We'll be visiting Chinatown again for the parade. There isn't any other upcoming events but that might change later. Next part is deciding on what I want to work on for February. I know it seems like a lot but it's really not. A lot of these are habits anyway that I want to build and then near the bottom are some goals. It's important for me to know that I'm consistently working towards what I want to achieve and that's why I listed out the months to check off. That way I look back I can see that I'm on track. The post-it you see here is where I copy down what I'm working on for the month and then I'm going to paste it in my passion planner on the game changer goal page. So whenever I plan for the day, I have a reference. Next page is my reading log. There isn't anything I want to update on here, but I just want to say how proud I am for reading so much in the month of January. I may have to just update my goal of reading 25 books this year to something higher. 
I love how my stats page is looking. Instead of pixels, you get this dot effect. Because I've been reading so much in January, most of the days have been metallic green. The best book for January is A Light in the Flame. I'm using a post-it as a temporary measure until there are enough book covers to print. For my entertainment stats, I'll update it in a little bit, so I'll be returning to this page later. There's nothing to update for my cleaning log, but I'm really proud of myself for cleaning so much in January. There's nothing to update on here, but I'm liking the way it looks. For my monthly savings, I'll update it tomorrow as it's not quite the end of the month, but I can update my subscriptions page. I have already unsubscribed Hulu as I have plenty of other sources to watch from. The blue highlight indicates the month when I pay for the annual renewal. There's nothing I want to update for my wish list, so moving on to the January monthly pages. The goals page here brings a lot of satisfaction for me. The only thing I didn't achieve was losing weight. It's an ongoing struggle. Here I'm just writing down any task I want to follow up on in February on a post-it for later, so that I don't have to flip back to check. It is the last day of January, so I'm going to be reviewing my day using this habit tracker and mark off what I've done. I just love this cross stitch pattern this creates. For my mood tracker, it is comforting to know that it was mostly pink, indicating that I was happy for the most part of the days, with only a few purples. Today's purple though was because I broke my mouth guard. I like how my fitness log is looking. I think I like it better than how I recorded it in a calendar format last year. The blue highlighted dots indicate the days I was working out so that I can quickly have an overview of the month. Because I broke my mouth guard, I needed to get replacements. I decided to buy two types, one a disposable type and the other one where you have to mold it. There's nothing to update on this page, but I do want to update my entertainment stats page. So here, I'm totaling up how many English shows, Asian dramas, and movies I've watched. No anime for the month though. Here, I'm updating my stats for my social media. It's a slow but steady growth. Consistency is the key and I do enjoy what I'm doing so that's all that matters for now. Just have to keep on at it. Coming to my daughter's overview page, she has read a total of 36 books for the month of January. She had a lot of minor injuries and we did a few play sessions. Her mood has been overall good so I think it's a good January month for her. There was this instance on the first day back to school, a friend stole her pencil case. Luckily, she was able to get it all back including the contents and strangely enough, they are good friends now. It was a learning experience for the both of them I think, no harm done. There's nothing to update here and so I'm just going to remove this post-it to be used for February. This one line a day format is really working for me. I like the look of it better than the calendar format I had done last year. Here, I'm just going to make my last entry for the month. I had done my summary already and I think for next month, I'll write something that's not already shown on the previous pages. And now moving on to my February monthly pages. This is the part where I write down what I'm going to be working on and a few tasks to remember to do for the month. I'm using the post-it I had prepared earlier for my passion planner as reference. If you're interested in my February month setup video, I'll put in the link in the description box below.
Over here, I realized I'm writing the task renewing my Costco membership when I had actually done it. This is mainly for me to check on the Costco page to confirm that it's been renewed, just in case for whatever reason the payment didn't go through. I'm skipping these pages because there's nothing to update here. On the reading and shopping page, I'm just going to add some headers and list down the books I'll be reading. Some of these books I had started reading in January but did not get to finish, and another one I had just borrowed today from the library. I have a feeling that for the month of February, I'll be reading a lot just like in January, but this time I'm going to make it a point to pick a book that's already on my bookshelf. For the social media page, I'm just going to copy down the ending stats as my starting stat for February. And then under the Instagram section, I'm creating a tracker to track my Passion Planner related posts. I do that daily, so this tracker would make more sense than listing it down. The posts that I list down would be those that relate to my bullet journal. For Ezri's page, I'm just adding a header to indicate the mood tracker. On the next page, I'm going to paste back the post I had removed from the month of January so that I can reference what the letters mean as I mark the days in my job hunt section. So that's the end of my end day review and the February prep work for my bullet journal. Now I'm going to prep for tomorrow's daily spread in my passion planner. The stickers I'll be using are from this sticker book called Strong at Heart. I decided to go with Princess Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. After a while, the left page was starting to bother me because it's not lying down flat, so I used my post-it pad to hold it down. I wish I had done it from the beginning so that it wasn't such a struggle for the first couple of minutes. I wanted to use this piece of sticker but it was a little too wide. I didn't want to have to cut it either, so I decided to go with a different sticker later. I think it worked out okay in the end. I felt that it needed something more, so I picked a few more stickers from the Princess Plan sticker book. It had some Princess Tiana themed stickers that I could use. And that's my setup for the daily spread in my passion planner for the next day. What do you think? Do check out my Instagram account if you want to check out my previous January spreads. Before I end this video, here's a quick flip through of what I had done in my bullet journal and passion planner. If you're interested in me doing a flip through of my passion planner, let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my other videos, do consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.